Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Meilan M3 mini GPS bicycle computer and this thing uh, although it's uh, really small and it's also very cheap it's actually very smart and today we are going to put it to the test so I took the opportunity to uh, cut the box to spare you with uh, all of that nonsense of uh, cutting it out so in the box you are going to get a manual you are going to get this uh, a pad for fixing it on your bike, a charging cable and of course the universal zip ties that will help you install this on your bike. So this will uh, be held in place on your handlebar with the zip ties and this will uh, dock by twisting and rotating into this cradle so it locks into position really well and it will not vibrate or wobble and it has this really thick uh, rubber pad and this will uh, give it a very good uh, adhesion and it will not uh, twist around uh, on your mount. So, uh, let's uh, power this on. So I'm going to take it out of this, so it just unscrews. Uh, it has a um, settings button here and that's for accessing uh, some uh, settings that you don't use every day, such as setting up the time uh, also, you can uh, set up an odometer uh, if you previously used another bike computer or somehow this loses uh, uh, battery completely, but this actually has a rechargeable battery, so it's not the case, it's not replaceable. Uh, anyway, if you want to add your own odometer, you can use it uh, in the settings and add the mileage that you want to. On the top here, it has two buttons, the power button and also the, uh, call it, setup button but it's not this setup button it has another function the save button for history so I'm going to power this on and now the it has a green LED here which blinks and now it searches for satellites and let's see how long it takes and that beep was uh, GPS lock so actually now if I start to move around it should register uh, some kind of speed so let's try it and you can see it has already picked up my movement so it's rather um, fast acting because GPS always has a delay, has a lag and it adjusts the speed really well and if I stop it stops so it it acts almost as fast as a bike computer with wire it only has a minor delay which is not a big con considering that GPS speed uh, and distance it's much more accurate than uh, a regular sensor uh, by computers. Another advantage is that you don't have to install a sensor on your bike. The sensor needs constant battery replacement if it's wireless. It uh, can get damaged by water. Uh, if it's wired you need to add another wire through your uh, until your uh, computer on uh, the handlebar so using this uh, GPS device makes it a lot more easy to install it on any kind of uh, um, wheel and it also spares you the problems that you have uh, with tire circumference especially when you are not using standard tires or wider tires or thicker tires uh, you constantly need to adjust the wheel and it's not always perfect uh, there are some differences even if you calculate this perfectly and even measure it uh, some devices don't have the exact adjustment of your wheel size so there's always going to be a small deviation between the real speed and what the computer is showing you all right so i have this uh, following setup phone with gps and gps uh, speed app the gps uh, unit here and my old wireless computer i don't know if uh, it's going to be visible on the camera but i'm going to tell you what uh, i see from time to time so we can correlate the speed from all of those devices so let's see how this will work so starting up i'm going to try to keep a stable speed and now the bike computer shows seven eight kilometers per hour 8.7 this one the gps shows seven point something while the phone shows seven nine kilometers per hour so <laughs> all three of them are 
uh, now all over the place uh, but I'm not going steady because of the road so I'm going to try to find a more level uh, place to ride but until then I can see a difference between the bike computer and the uh, GPS computer um, the bike computer shows uh, a larger speed, a higher speed than both of my GPS units while the phone app doesn't show um, decimal, it only shows a rounded speed so it shows uh, 7, 8 kilometers per hour uh, for example when this shows 8.9 this will show 9 when this has 6.8 this is 7 so it's a rounded value, it's an average rounded value while this also shows a decimal uh, making it more precise hopefully while this one also shows a decimal but uh, this one shows a higher speed uh, every time for each reading so I'm now doing around 9 km per hour both on the GPS units and this one shows 10 km per hour and I'm looking for uh, some asphalt to keep the speed stable and see how well the GPS unit will stabilize in comparison with the normal one so this should be a lot more better so I'm going to keep the acceleration steady all right so 10.8 11 11 10.5 10 10 and 10 and this one self so both units are spot on GPS units are okay while this one um, it's showing uh, more so the conclusion is that the GPS unit of the mainland really works accurate and you can see if I'm accelerating this accelerates rather fast so it's it shows the update speed of this one it's actually better than on my phone and if I stop let's stop both units show some speed and this one was the first to show zero this one was uh, a bit late while the regular computer was more uh, faster so it acts faster for example now I have zero speed here and this one already shows the speed now it has picked up so the phone GPS it's much slower than this mainland unit but the accuracy of the mainline is also very good so really well uh, especially for how cheap this uh, device is and it's actually impressive that it works uh, that good in uh, this uh, situation so I'm accelerating and the speed is increasing almost as fast on the regular bike computer and only when I'm stopping very fast zero six kilometers 13 zero this one still shows speed six nine kilometers eight kilometers per hour six kilometers per hour so <laughs> the phone GPS only now it's getting close to zero but you can still see a deviation while this doesn't have any kind of deviation and uh, this actually has really good GPS but you see the difference here so I started I am already picking up the speed on the mainland no problem at all with it so really enjoy this uh, this unit the mainland also has a lot of uh, functions that you find on a regular uh, bike computer such as showing you sorry about that I've just turned it off uh, it shows you things such as uh, timer it has a distance meter altimeter uh, it has a total run time it has an odometer uh, it shows you the average speed and a lot of other things um, uh, maximum speed that you have ever got uh, average speed the current speed and so on so it has a lot of things and it also has this save button and you can actually save the trip and you can uh, check this later from the menu somehow but 
I don't think that you can download the info. It would have been uh, really interesting if you can download the run and overlay it on a Google map or something like that. I'm going to try to see uh, if I'm going to connect this to the PC, if it does anything. But that's another story and if it works I'm going to do a second part with that. If it doesn't, well, I'm not going to do it. So be sure to follow my next uploads and until then see you and bye bye.